today was a day. Um, it wasn't necessarily, like, bad. I mean, there were some not fun aspects to it. Um, but it, uh, oh boy, it, it was a thing. Did you turn the, did you turn them off? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what it was going to do. <laughs> I mean, that's correct, which is the best kind of correct. <laughs> no, Lolly, just shut off the lights. He just shut off the... <laughs> so should I just go back to the overhead light like I used to do? Like back before I had like real lights in here? Just had the fucking ceiling fan going? Fuck them lights, right? Like it's fuck them lights in particular. <laughs> listen, oh my god. Listen. I've broken enough today. I'm I'm just gonna keep stay the course. <laughs> Understandable. Have a day. Uh, it's 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 Lolly's fault that things were broken at work. It's not really his fault. Um, it was oh, just I, no. It was definitely my fault. And listen, we I think we all learned a th <laughs> we learned a couple of things the last what like thirty six hours. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Like I have a lap dog. Oh. Him such a good boy. Oh, I'm such a good boy. But he do like to do the bork bork. Mm -hmm. It's it's fair. That's fair, Beniter. Beniter Beniter says hashtag blame Zundi, which is fair. Let's see who all do we have. We got Beniner and Wisty and Fritz and some motherfucker shutting off the lights in my office. Vivian, Vivian's I here. I still steal show, as usual. Wisty, thank you for that host. I appreciate you. Say you are a broken entity. What do you mean you're a broken entity? I don't understand. Fritz, you learned some good information yesterday. What did you learn that's good information? I would love to hear it. I learned something last night, and I don't know how good it is. You're just broken. Listen, Wisty, Brendo. Who the fuck among us is not broke? Nothing working brain. I was working off of, on stuff today, and I had a bunch of meetings, and it took me until after 2 p.m. to realize that today was not, in fact, Thursday. No, no. It's only Wednesday. Oh, isn't that the worst? Yep. In fact, so we had a thing at work that came up today, and we needed to send out um, like a basically like a, an emergency hey we got to fix this thing because usually our team uh ships our code every two weeks on a tuesday and yesterday was that tuesday that we typically do so we shipped it but there was some stuff wrong so we needed to get a fix out today because some stuff was broken and wasn't working right um so the um uh the stuff that like was broken uh, Lolly got it all fixed and got it ready to send out but when we when we have to do something like now um every time we make a change to one of our production systems that runs like for um you know the things that run the credit union we have a process to go through to let everybody know um that shit's going to change and make sure everybody's okay with the changes before they happen so you know Nothing breaks, or we minimize the chance of breakage and things like that. Um, so we had to send out an emergency one today for approval. Um, and so, like, it it ended up being like a very much "fuck it, we'll do it live" thing, which is which is actually what happened. Like, Lolly's like, "fuck it, I'll I'll write it and I'll do it live." And exactly that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. So he he did it. Um, but part of that process is sending. So there's a turd, by the way. <gasps> oh my god, it's best friend. Okay, first of all, I love you, best friend Mo. Second of all, can everybody in chat just tell best friend Mo that she's amazing? So best friend Mo is out out this week. She is abroad. She's over on 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 the west coast, um, giving and she gave a talk today at her company's conference. And 
Um, she's been prepping for it for weeks, had to do her presentation a couple of different times because of like changes to the design and everything. And her presentation was on design because as many of you know, best friend Mo is a hella designer. It's what she does during her, it's what she does for work. It's what she does um, now in her spare time is her, uh, her new Design Academy series on YouTube, which by the way, if you're not following, if you're not subscribed to Best Friend Mo on YouTube, as the kids say, uh, smash that notification bell. Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. But Best Friend Mo has been working on her Design Academy series, and it's a fantastic resource for streamers who are trying to build up their own personal design brand. Um, but she's been working really hard on all of her presentation and stuff. And today she did it, and she fucking nailed it. And she's been getting feedback from everyone telling her how amazing she did so everybody give a round of applause to best friend mo for being so amazing and doing all the best stuff jerky and why you should give bubba some yes that's correct um so uh but anyway uh as part of the the change control process um i had to ping our um our vp of it and i'm like hey you know, to, in today's meeting, can we go over our stuff first? Because it's an emergency thing that needs to go out today. And then I s looked at it and I'm like, wait a second. Um, the change control meeting is on Thursday and that's not today. Today is actually Wednesday. And then I got sad and I'm like, never mind. I'll just email it out. And so that's what happened. And I was very sad because it took me until 2 p.m. to realize that today was not the day I thought it was. But that's okay, because tomorrow is actually Thursday, and tomorrow we're getting pizza for dinner because the school that Bean works at, um, they have uh, one of the local restaurants. They're donating all of their profits to the school um, tomorrow night. Uh, so we're getting pizzas. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so Wisty says you had a telehealth thing with your doctor last Friday and your doctor scolded you for not taking care of yourself. Wisty, we have been doing that too. And we only do it because we care about you, we love you, and we want you to be healthy because being healthy is part of being happy. You can't be happy and not be healthy. They go hand in hand. So make sure you're taking care of yourself because we love you and you deserve to be healthy and happy. I'm looking at you, ma'am. I'm looking at you. Right here. Right right here, Wisty. Looking at you. Do it. All right. You've been good this week. That's good. That's good. Okay. So, Fritz, I have seen Good Eats. I have seen almost all of Good Eats. Uh, I'm having a difference of uh, opinion with the, the host and. But that's a different story altogether. But yes, I have seen Good Eats and it has fantastic content. Listen, best friend Mo, you have fun. Have all the fun like you did last night and celebrate your grand victory because you have earned it. I love you very much. Mwah. Also, give Bubba jerky. Um, so, also, hello, Liz. Listen, you're never late. You are here exactly when you are meant to be here. And I'm glad that you're here, friendo. Ah, uh, okay, so um, the last time I got a new phone, now I have a, I have a, exactly, like a wizard, exactly. Well, I mean, she's a witch, but, you know, c c close enough. Do I remember one of the character actors who'd play various characters? Um, the, f the one that comes to mind is Lucky Yates. Lucky Yates has been several characters on uh, Good Eats, including the Dungeon Master, and he also, and he, I think he's also been um, like the uh, the like the FDA and the food police and whatnot. Um, but Lucky Yates, he was also a medieval peasant. That's yeah. Um, so Lucky Yates is also uh, he's he's a voice actor who's done several things. My favorite role of his has been Doctor Krieger from Archer. Um, so. But yes, I'm I'm very familiar with um, some of the character actors who have been on Good Eats. 
<laughs> a queen is never late. Everybody else is simply early. That's also true. Uh, I, I don't know what you're going to share, Fritz. I just, uh, listen, when you say good eats and character actor, I immediately know Lucky Yates. That's, I'm right there with you on that. Dr. Krieger. Yep. Um, so. Oh, oh, so you, oh, you learned that Dr. Krieger and Lucky, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the first time I, I found that out, I'm like, wait a second, who is that? I'm like, oh my God, it's the Dungeon Master from Good East. Yeah, that's fun to find out. So on a related note, on a related note, I learned something today. Um, let's see. Oh, where is it? Da, 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 da. Okay. So we watch the Golden Girls a lot, and that's no secret. Okay, this is this is a recurring theme on uh uh, on the show here and let me see so the there's an episode where blanche has a niece that comes to visit and her name is lucy and funnily enough um like the name kind of fits because she ends up, you know, seeing like, I don't know, three different guys in the course of like three days. It's this, and it becomes this whole point of contention with, um, with Blanche because it's her niece and she's trying to look out for, her, right? And nothing wrong with bros Blanche at all. That's right. So, this this one particular episode that features her niece, this is Lucy. This is the niece from the episode, okay? And, like, it's always bugged me. I'm like, there's something about her that I just couldn't place, right? So we're laying in bed last night. Bean's asleep next to me, and I'm looking, and I see the... I'm watching the credits roll, and I see the name come up, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's her name. <gasps> Hi, Tani, how are you? Um, so I see the credits roll. I'm like, okay, I have to look up the actress to see who it is. And then I discover that the same person that plays Blanche's niece is Lizzie McGuire's mom. And I had to, I had to go to sleep with this knowledge and sit on it until this morning when Bean and I were both awake so I could tell her. Because I couldn't wake her up for that. But... Blanche's niece grows up to be Lizzie McGuire's mom. The actress's name is Hallie Todd. That's it. That's the whole thing. I have nothing more interesting to say about it. But that's all I have to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. I, I watched Forrest Gump the other day. It was on the telly. I watched it. Mm. It was good. Oh, any who's he wants it. Um, so now we have this knowledge and need to work out what to do about it. See, see, I'm just here to provide nuggets of knowledge, not necessarily useful in everyday life, but they're there nonetheless. And what you do with that knowledge is up to you. Clinton Barton's wife is Velma from the live-action Scooby-Doo movies. That's true. Also the murderer in Legally Blonde. Also, also, um, uh, the... I forget exactly what... I don't remember the character's name or anything. Anyway, she was the, she was the love interest in, um, uh, Grandma's Boy. She's the one that comes in the, to, like, help... Get the game back on track. Linda Cardellini. Cardellini. Yeah, but no one expects the land boat. Nobody expects the land boat. Okay. 
All right, so listen, Megan's under trivia app with this knowledge. I have so much random useless shit in here. Important stuff, maybe. Random useless bullshit everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Oh, you can make. We can go even further with this because we can have you record the lines for what the trivia is, and it's a guessing game, right? That's true. So, That's like, true. also, hi, pumpkin. Right. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Welcome to Random Facts with Zundi, brought to you by Who the Fuck Knows. Sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Wow. Ouch. Ouch. I've turned that down twice now. Stop. Don't make me do it. <laughs> twice. Twice. I'm like, I don't. I just don't think this is the right vibe, but it's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay. So, so our our wonderful friend 9.5. Um. She's she's internet mom. Okay. So, love 9.5. Just fantastic human being. Love her very dearly. 9 doesn't stream on Wednesdays, okay? Wednesdays is like her, her weekday off. She was streaming today, and I'm like... So I pop over there. I'm sponsored by chat, yeah. The shadow knows. Um, so she's, she's doing a just streaming, or just chatting. I'm like, all right, you know, that's fine. She's usually either just chatting or doing stream raiders or something. So I pop over there to see what she's doing. Mom's playing Fortnite. And let me tell you, the Midwestern mom accent is coming out. So she's getting serious and it's like, she's getting bloodthirsty. It's fantastic. So she has, a, there's, there's a clip of this. I took a clip, but she's she's doing her thing. She she hops in one of the, the boats and she's speeding along and there's this whole conversation about supporting each other and being good to each other, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 she is mom. She's not not nine's mom. We just call her mom because she's she is Twitch mom. So nine just is mom. Um sorry for the confusion there. Um so so nine's playing. And Iceberg will steal show as usual. Troll, thanks for the host, buddy. How are you? You can't picture her playing Fortnite. Le <laughs> just wait, just wait. This is this is fantastic. So she's boating along. We have this conversation about support and whatnot. And so, in the spirit of Viv, she starts land boating. Okay. Uh, excuse you, troll. Excuse you, sir. Reverse. Reverse you and i'll hear nothing else about it she starts land boating up a hill and she sees a tower with you know rockets on her fucking boat and, and she puts the math together and then this happens so here's the clip and i have a new little function that i've built into the bot which i'm very proud of so we can actually watch this together And I'm about to not be so supportive of this. That's right. <laughs> oh. Whoa, did you see that? That was cool. No. <laughs> Nobody expects the land boat. <laughs> Chaos. I, I just, I had to clip that. It was just fantastic. Uh, so... That was so much fun, but like, not, oh yeah, no, she totally did, she totally, she, she went whoosh, like she tunnel visioned and she got into like, she got into like evil cackling murderous mayhem and it was hilarious and amazing to watch. So she may be joining us, uh, one of these here nights for fork knife, uh, on, on Sundays. Um, not this week cause this week. I'm playing Super Mario World. Very excited about that. Love Super Mario World. Such a good, good, um, good game. Oh, that's what I told her, Benina. I was, I'm like, I'm, I'm taking a clip of this. I'm like, and I'm gonna later. I'm gonna take the the audio out and make a sound clip of it. I'm absolutely gonna make a sound clip of it. Um, and I might just do it later tonight on stream. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, okay, so back around to the the original thing I was getting at. So I haven't gotten a phone, a new phone, in about like three years now. 
Um, so the last thing I got, I got it at the Microsoft store, pour one out. Um, but I got a, uh, galaxy S nine plus, which is good. And it's been doing me pretty okay for a while. Uh, but now it's, it's to the point to where I need something new. Um, cause it's, it's starting to show its age a little bit. I thought so, Fritz. I thought that would be, I thought that would be good. Um, Microsoft used to have a store. I think they still have like a, a showcase or whatever in uh, Times Square, but they used to have stores all over, like the Apple Store uh, still does. Um, and then once the pandemic, the Panini, the Moons Over My Pandemi, um, hit, they shuttered the stores, um, which made me very sad because. I had been to the grand opening of a couple of them. Um, and frankly, I enjoyed it. It was a fun time. One time I camped out. Uh, not overnight, just like hella early in the morning. Me and Tom went and got Waffle House. Then we went to the Microsoft Store grand opening. It was a great time. Uh, it was across the way from the Apple Store and the Mall of America. They, they tried to position them near Apple Stores to be in line of sight. Um... But yeah, so that's that's so I've been a couple of those. Bean went with me to one. Tom went with me to one. Um, actually, Bean and I went to the one not terribly long after we started dating, which like she tolerated going to a Microsoft Store grand opening with me. So I was like, all right, she's like, if I haven't run her off by now, was, she's probably not going to run off. But you know, you never know. But Bean's a good sport, and she's she likes doing stuff. So you know, as long as it's not like too out there. Anyway, I haven't gotten a new phone in like three years now. Uh, so I decided, okay, I need a new phone. And there hasn't been a whole lot lately that has really appealed to me. Because obviously there's no more Windows phones. Um, I, I'm on Android now, which if I'm going to be on any of the other two smartphone OSs, Android's going to be the one. Um, and so I'm... You know, I, I'm, I'm going to stick with Android because that's the ecosystem I want to be in. Uh, Microsoft did have Weezer perform a few opens. Yes, they've had several different artists perform at their, some of their grand openings. Like um, here, um, they had um, Flo Rida performed at one of them, um, which was pretty cool. Speaking of Mario, my son challenged me to a Mario Kart and Switch after one race to learn the controls on that ridiculously small controller. You absolutely crushed him. No mercy. Listen, Troll, if you let up, if you let up on them now, then they will become weak, and you cannot have you cannot raise a weak child with Mario Kart. You must teach them to be strong. That Mario Kart shows no mercy. It builds character. Your bloodline is weak, and you won't last the winter. And you won't last the winter been to a microsoft employee store long ago i've been to the employee store at the on building 92 because i know building numbers on the fucking microsoft campus um but back when it was still like just building 92 and it had the visitor center as part of it now it's like this whole visitors complex thing but um back in building 92 they had the employee store so what you could do is for specific like events and stuff that they had on or near campus they would let people go in and buy a certain amount of stuff at the employee discount because, you know, whatever. <gasps> Hi, Nova. Nova. Nova Nova recently learned poggers, and she learned that it means a good thing. I don't even – I'm not even entirely sure how poggers works, so I don't use it because I'm, I'm like 100. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know, you know, the proper context in which to use it so that the youths don't mock me. Would have been 2006. Poggers just means K. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Listen, I, tr I trust you. Nova, when you tell me a thing, I just, I, I take it for what it is. <laughs> Poggers. Um, so, um, yeah, I've, I've been to the Microsoft Employee Store like a while back for like, I think it was like build 2012. Oh my God. Was it really 10 years ago? No, I haven't opened it yet. Okay, I love you. Hey, can I have a kiss?
Microsoft Store was the only reason you work there. I mean, like the fucking employee discount on software is well and hardware too is legit. Um, but only if you're an FTE, not like a full time employee. Like contractors don't really get shit. Uh, well, in Benina, if it, like if that's what works for you, that's what works for you. I just like Bean has an iPhone now, and she's got an Apple Watch. I just that's not the ecosystem for me. Um, I'm I'm more of a tinkerer. I like to fuck around with stuff, and I get to f like Android affords you easier ways to fuck around with stuff. Now at the you know at the the risk of breaking shit, but whatever, I'll fucking fix it, or I won't. I just I don't know. So I um so yeah so the last time I got a phone was three years ago at the Microsoft store. I got the Galaxy S9 Plus, and it's starting to show its age. I don't want to factory reset it because there's a bunch of shit on there. I want to like take my time and move things off and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm like, all right, let's figure out something. And I've been looking for fucking months trying to figure out what I'm going to do, what I'm going to get. <laughs> Fuck around and find out the Android way. This is the way I have spoken. The Nicely done, Troll. Well done. Well done. God, I need, I want to go back and watch season one of Mando. Um, so, uh, I've been looking and like, like I said, there's been nothing that really like appeals to me. Cause like with the Google stuff, I don't want purely Google stuff. Cause like, eh, um, for the, um, like the Samsung stuff, there's just so much Samsung shit piled on top of it. It's like, like Samsung devices are Android, but it's like, it's like, hey, this is Android, but by the way, do you want all of this other shit that's in a completely like ridiculous ecosystem? Sure, Android's still here too. Yeah, there's Google Play, but look at all the Samsung stuff. And I'm like, I'm done with it. Like all the Bixby and the separate store, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I'm like, Your touch whiz or is touch whiz dead and it's something else now. I think it's still touch whiz. I think they still call the the primary UI touch whiz. Samsung is really pushy about shit in their ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, it's the first ever Microsoft sysadmin slash sysops intern. They built out the program the year after you were there. That's fucking cool. Uh, several years ago, I was in the Microsoft student, um, student partner program and the year that I was in it, because like student partner program is one of those things that's run by a contractor. Like so many of their like stuff that's not like core business is run by contractors. They're like, here, here's the thing. Like I think Xbox Ambassadors is still technically run by contractors, um, or like it's overseen by contractors, and they have like crossovers. Like they have full time employees that are like embedded in it, but like not like the primary drivers of it. And uh, student student partner program was like that. Um, I think it still is. But when I was in it, the year that I did it, it was like a fucking marketing program. Like, I, I got into it because I was like, okay, I'm going to my community college. I'm trying to finish my degree. And I'm like, you know, in my mid, mid to late 20s. Yeah, I'm like in my late 20s doing this. And I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm going to start a student partner. I'm going to join the student partner program. So I applied and got in and I'm like, I'm going to start a, um, like a Microsoft developer group on campus. Cause like at that time, like windows eight was a big deal. So people were, you know, Microsoft was doing all kinds of incentives for people to build windows eight, windows phone, eight apps. And so I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's build a thing. I'll start like a dev club. We can start building stuff and have people like try their stuff out on real devices. Cause I had a couple of spare windows phones. Cause at the time I was connected with the dude who was the developer evangelist since, cause that was still a thing, um, in the, the, the Florida area. So, um, and then I got into the program and they're like, Hey, by the way, um, there's all this Xbox stuff and Oh, you have to have an Xbox event. Oh, uh, push game of thrones on hbo here's all these like eight game of thrones branded earbuds that are like the shit like two dollar earbuds that just have game of thrones printed on the case and like all this other shit and i'm like i don't want to like i'm not here to push like fucking 
like game and media shit. Like I'm a student partner. I'm, I'm trying to reach students who are learning. Like we're trying to learn shit. Like fucking learn, learn, learn. Like that's what I'm trying to do is help people learn shit. I'm like, I'm going to start a hustling. thing. <gasps> Amy, happy Wednesday to you. And thank you for eight months. Oh my goodness. That's, that's a long time. I'm like, like all the months are just like getting higher and higher now. And I'm just like, I'm floored. I can't believe I've been doing this this long. Um, Florida. Uh, I see what you did there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I, I, I made a huge thing about it. Like that, the end of that year. And I'm like, I'm not doing this shit again. This is marketing. This is horse shit. I'm like, this is, this is not what student partner was, was sold to me as. This is, this is, you're basically paying me to put on fucking marketing events and I don't want to do that shit. Like, you want me to help people learn how to code? Fine, I'll do it. If you want to give me dev resources, great, I'll do it. Um, otherwise, eat shit. I'm not doing this anymore. And so after that year, um, apparently they took that feedback back to the folks at, um, like the the folks at Microsoft who like were the overseers of the contractors in the program, and they changed the whole thing around because of it. So that felt nice that you know my feedback was heard, and I'm sure it wasn't just me that that pointed that out, but like, um, I know that was a big driver of it. So it was pretty cool. Anyway, so getting back to the original thing, so I got a new phone. I finally found something that I I wanted and like really I I've been wanting it for a while but just never really went for it cuz hesitation and price and everything else but it was hella on sale. It's normally $1500 which is expensive even for a phone. Um it was on sale for 9.99. So 500 bucks off. And I'm like, well, fuck. Like, I can't not get this. Like, I, I, I've been wanting it. And if this is, like, not a sign for me to get it, like, I've been looking for a phone. I want something new. I've been wanting this phone. So, I have in this box, I have not yet opened. Benina called it. I got a Surface Duo 2. So I want to open it up right now with all of you. We're going to do this thing. I bought it yesterday and they uh they sh they overnighted it for like for like 16 bucks. I'm like, "Well, for 16 bucks, I will Yes, I will take it in one day. Thank you very much. I love how much of the fucking air pocket things they put in here. That's just fantastic. So, I got... Of course, I, I, I wanted, like, the pin chargey case things. Um, but they didn't have them in stock, so I'm going to have to go back and get one later. So, for now, I got the bumper for it. And I got the bumper in black because I had to get the phone in black. In the Surface Duo, the first one, they didn't have in black. They only had in like the the, the grayish white, which they call Glacier now. Um, and I like my phones in black. I like the I like the black look. I like it sleek. It's nice. It's fun. It's great. Um, so yeah, I wanted to I wanted to get you know. The one in black, and so I did. Um, they didn't have one that was uh, 256 gig of internal storage, only 128. But like my phone now is only 64, and I'm not using all of it. So I'm like, yeah, it's it'll be fine. It'll it'll hold me for a while. Like I'm not doing a ridiculous amount of shit on my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off my old phone now, so I can pull the SIM out of it. And yes, I keep. I keep an unfurled paperclip at the ready, just in case. I do kind of have to for that. It's either that or you actually manage to hold on to the tool that they give you for it. I have one. I have like one or two of them laying around. I just 
don't have them on the desk because the paperclip's just more convenient. Hi, Mochi. I know, new phone, new phone hype. The other thing, too, is like, I, I think it's a bug with my phone, and that's why I would have to factory reset it. But like, the SIM tray for mine, I don't know if you can see that. See how it's like, it's broken. So I have to be like hella careful when I put it back in the phone. Otherwise, it gets offset and it won't fit back in the phone, and it's just an entire fucking mess. So, oh, oh, Troll's got his uh, his tool. Also, uh, giggity. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fight, and this is for fun. Um, yes, Evie, it is a for micro SD and a nano sim. Yep, yeah, that is correct. There's the. There's the nano sim right there. So, look how tiny. It's so tiny. So tiny. Fuck you, caps lock. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get you every time. Let's see. Includes Surface Duo 2, USB-C cable, support for 5G, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.1. So, I mean, it comes loaded with, like, a lot of stuff. See if they have a dual sim for other markets. Ooh, that's true. All right, so I'm gonna go along the edge here. See if I can. I don't think I got it. I don't think so. Let's see. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Border town life for you with the U.S. and Canada. That yeah. Yeah. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's take this baby. I love their packaging. I love it so much. Ooh. And there it is right there. Oh, I think the packaging is all paper. Or like paper ish. I know it's all recyclable. Mm -hmm. This is this is Krakow's stream. This is what this is. And Krakow I'm wearing mode. a frog hat. It's it's just not question it. This is just how it is around here. Oh nano sim and e sim. Oh ooh. That's well, one of the things that amazing. has been also hi kitty. How are you? Okay. So here's the phone. I'm gonna open it up. Frog ass motherfucker. You are tired? Yeah. You've been dealing with some stuff this week, haven't you, Kitty? Ooh, I like that, Beniner. I like this because, like, it's dual screen. But it's not like most of dual screen phones where it's like a single like display surface that folds like it's there's actually a, a crease there's a crack in the middle it's two it's basically two phones just put together okay so I'm gonna set this over here for now and it can stand up because it can fold like a book as under DS yes that's exactly what this is. It is basically my version of a DS, but for phones. The secret ingredient is phone. <laughs> I know it is a mini laptop. I know, I know. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't do stylus. It actually does pin, so it's like an actual, um, like a digitizer that's built into the device. Let's see. Uh, spent six hours in the hospital yesterday, staring into a billion suns. Had metal fish string put in your eyeballs to scan your retinas, and we found. Me and your optical nerve, so they referred to me to an MRI scan, another test I don't know the name of. Oof. Oof, Kitty. Also, Kitty got new glasses, you know, related to all of her eye-related stuff that she's had to do the last, you know, couple of days here. Well, Kitty, I'm, I'm very sorry that you've been having to go through all of this, and I hope that you get it all straightened out soon, and you're, you know, bought two pairs you want to see them. Yeah, send it to me. I'll, like, I'll take a look in a little bit when I get a chance. I'm always down for looking at stuff. Or if you want to post them in uh, in the Discord and selfies and stuff, if you would like. Um, and for those of you who aren't in the Discord, get the Discord. 
It's a fun time. We have stuff like critters. Loaf was being very sweet today. She sat for pictures. She did a good sit because she's the best baby. Oh, okay. This the 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 sim tool for this. First of all, it's squared off, which I like. Most of them are like round edge. But then also, it's very like it feels sturdy for a sim tool. You know, as far as sim tools go. Now let's see what we got here. Okay, limited warranty and agreement. Sure, sure. That goes in there. And you will go back into the box. Here, we got the USB-C cable. Oh, it's USB-C to C. Okay, okay, okay. I think the link says you don't have the glasses yet. Okay. What the fuck else would glasses be for other than eyes? Listen, I don't know, Benina. I don't know. Listen, you ever had a drink Drinking in a glass? From yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? There we go. See? Lolly knows. He gets it. Drinking glasses. Yeah, kitty, go for it. Absolutely. Do -do -do. My favorite ones? Okay. I'll look at it in a second. So there's no like quick start guide. There's a thing in here. So it's got Surface Duo 2, support.microsoft.com, and when you open it up, there's the phone and a QR code to go to aka.ms slash Surface Duo Start. And it's got all the stuff to tell you where everything is, like the SIM card slot is on the bottom of the left-hand panel here. Okay. Neat. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to put this away. Since we've gotten the device out, and I have USB char USB C charger over here, so let's see. Bro, what are you drinking, buddy? That's that's a good question. Let me get some Kraydons. Uh, what we got? Watermelon. Ooh, yeah. Traditionally, my favorite flavor of Kraydons has been cherry, so I'm gonna have some cherry ones. So thank you, Kitty. But heavy did finally get another bottle of. What is that, troll? I know what the Bud Heavy is. I'm from Georgia. If I don't know what a Budweiser is, then you know they take away my ability to make sweet tea. That's the source of your power. It's knowing what a Budweiser is. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the source of not how I how I don't murder people. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson's particularly brand. Oh, oh. Hmm. You drank a Budweiser once in Morocco when they didn't have anything else? Eh, well, prefer sour beers. I don't like, you know, I'm not, I'm not a beer person. I'm not into like the bitter flavor that you get from a beer. Mm, just not for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kitty, I like your glasses, especially the sunglasses. I like the sunglasses with the round frames. Those look nice. <laughs> Drinker choices, Jen. My friend, uh, I got a friend, Savvy, who she also, Jen is her drink of choice as well. Same, Benita. Like, if I'm... I don't drink. I don't drink, really. Like, 
in the time that Lolly's known me, I may have had two alcoholic drinks. And that's been two and a half years now. Um, I don't drink alcohol. I only eat gushers. Well, that's no, but that's because you're here after school, babe. It's your after school snack. So you might get Sunnies as regular glasses too. Ooh, Spec Savers also gives you a 50% discount to use for within three months. Oh, nice, nice. Maticus, hello, hello. How are you, friend? You getting crunk on gushers. Amazing. You make your own wine and give it to friends. So my friend Savvy, her husband Ben, he makes mead. Um, and he made me a batch of craisin mead once. And it was fucking delicious. So good. Really, really good. In fact, he made himself a batch later because he liked the like the sample of it that he took from mine. He loved it so much. Because like you get with the craisins, you get you're able to extract some of the tartness back out of it, and, and of course you got the sweetness of the honey, and it's just oh, tomato wine and mulberry wine. Ooh, cherry craisins mead. I would try that too. I would try that too. Some bomb ass jello shots with a nice blueberry vodka last, this last weekend. Ooh, I haven't done jello shots in a while either. Okay. So let's follow the instructions for getting started with my Surface Duo. Your Apple bottom jeans? Yes, my Apple bottom jeans and my boots with the fur. The fur? Yeah. All right, let's. Okay, to get your Surface Duo 2 set up the way you want, start by pressing the fingerprint power button on the right side of your Surface Duo. Okay. All right, this is the fingerprint power button over here. It's the shiny one right there, okay? Uh, choose your language and then follow the steps below. Ooh, it buzzed at me. Oh, there's that Microsoft logo. This is pretty. The screens on this look really nice. Powered by Android. I never thought I'd see the day. Ooh, ooh, look at look at all the dual screen screen goodness. Like it's very pretty. Very bright. Hey, hey, camera. Oh, it's I guess it's cuz it's like white, it won't do it. So, here I can choose my language. Nothing like economic cooperation in the palm of your hand. I know, right? Okay, English, United States. That's what I do. Okay, set up a mobile network. Insert a SIM card if you have one. I do. I do have one. This is like a DS, but for grown-ups. Yes. It really you gonna is. you put a DS emulator on it? Well, I mean, what the hell's the point if I don't? So, there's a little, little, tiny, little tiny SIM tray. Time to go clean up for making dinner, switching the phone, because you can. I right, trawl. Clean up that kitchen real good, buddy. All right, let's put my sim in here. All right, that's nice and tucked in. Sanskrit for your language. Hey, don't you do it. I can't read Sanskrit. I don't know it. Okay. I can't explain, but that's... <laughs> Insert the SIM card if you have one. <laughs> Nova, is that one of those things where, like, you used to have a SIM card, but you don't? Now it's just, like, an eSIM or something? SIM card that she used to know? Yes. Okay, now I connect to the, the, the Wi-Fi's. Okay. I am not using a randomized Mac on my local network. I will use the device Mac. It is not metered. No proxy. Okay. There we go. You happen to still have your SIM card. Thank you very much. Fair. Fair point. You're fluent in Google Translate. <laughs> Insert, eject. Insert, eject. Hey, make a phone call. Uh, you don't have to use earbuds, no. So, like, you can actually fold it all the way back. And so when you fold it back, it actually has a thing that says, hey, double tap to, to, to switch screens. Um, I think it only does it when you fold it back. So, like, it'll turn on there. When you fold it back, it, and I can go like this, 
and switch and use this side for if I'm using stuff. But then when you're on the phone, you actually use just the one side because it folds back enough. All right, unmetered, connected to the Wi-Fi, nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, there's an update, okay. I'm fold you all the way back. Don't you threaten me with a good time. All right, there is a 711. Oh, let me. Battery too low or in battery saving mode, okay. All right, so then we're gonna just let that. Let that do its thing over there. I love you. I love you, Pop. Pop, what are you doing? Oh, hi. You need to get a good burner phone. Your Pine phone doesn't run signal very well. Ah. Uh, I thought about, I thought about going to, uh, there it goes. It's downloading the update. Uh, I thought about going to DEF CON once. And the prospect of going to DEF CON scares the ever-loving shit out of me. Because literally everybody that goes to DEF CON is smarter than me. And I would do something to fuck that up. Alright, so let's see. It's already sim. Connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, okay. So I can choose a backup from an Android phone, a backup from the cloud, an iPhone device, or don't copy. I think I'm going to start from scratch. I think I'm going to just have a fresh start. That's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, just got back from running some errands with emotional support. Jeremy, nice. One of the people on the other side of the DEF CON thing. What do you mean, Nova? Nova, you know all kinds of shit. You are like... Nova, you're fucking just ridiculously smart. Like, it's it's just... It's just... It's wild. Listen, if you ever want to see smart people do stuff, go watch Nova. It's the Nova show. Where Nova does whatever she wants because it's her fucking show. And like code, more different code, writing a book, hanging out, having lunch, showing the cute doggo, seeing the extra cute girlfriend who gives her lots of love. And you sign into your Google and Microsoft accounts, add a pen and a fingerprint, and then quick tips. Okay, so that's it, huh? Well, let's download the system update now, so... Cool. Let's go. <laughs> First, you draw an S for Nova. <laughs> a more different S. Good. Pretty good. Look at his majesty. I'm tempted to play that. I would I would do that. You wanna watch Trogdor? Fucking, I'll watch Trogdor. I don't give a fuck. He had me a code, kept me with Doggo, yeah. With sub for Trogdor, nice. Uh, also, helicopter game. What the hell's helicopter game? I don't remember helicopter game. Let's see, went to Best Buy. Uh, since you didn't pick up your PS5 in time, so they canceled the order. What the fuck? Best Buy. I figured it didn't hurt to see if they still had it, but they didn't. Picked up the old man Jackson supplements from the vet. We went to an international market that was much more African-focused than the one I'd seen before. Used to places like HR, which are mostly Asian and Hispanic. An interesting experience. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, the Chrome T-Rex game, too. That's true, that's true, that's true. Consummate Vs, consummate. Guy would know majesty if it came up and bit him in the face. Yeah, it happened once. All right, fuck it. We're going to watch Trogdor. So here's 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 the trog door. We're gonna play it. What the hell? It's just here I go once again yeah, with the email. email. Every week, week I hope that it's, it's from, from a female. A female. Oh man, it's not from a female. Hey strong man, can you draw a dragon? I want to see your skills of an artist. Okay. Well, G two G guys are from California. A dragon. That's easy. Feel free to follow along with my simple step-by-step -step instructions. I make drawing fun. To begin, draw an S. Or snake. Or dragon. Dragon. Or, or Nova. <laughs> Next, we'll draw a more different S. For the head, put a top mark on a long V. Then you add some legs. 
throwing a couple of arms. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Whoa. Thank you, I Nova. <laughs> I think I need to start over. This thing doesn't look natural. Okay, starting again. Yeah. The same way. S, That's more, more different, different S. Close it up real good. Thanks, Fritz. I appreciate it. I, I work and on my Coach Z. Using consummate Vs. Give him consummate Vs. Vs. Blind at ease and angry Blind eyebrows. Ease. And you can add smoke or fire or maybe some wings. Here's oh, a wingling please. dragon. Wingling dragon. Let's put one of those beefy arms back on him for good measure. <laughs> that looks really good. Coming out of the back of his neck there. Now he needs a name. How about... Trogdor, the Burninator. Oh, yeah. yeah. Check out all his majesty. I love all his majesty. There's my dragon, Kaiser. Let's see how the other students are doing. <laughs> all right. What do you got for me, Coach Z? Take a look there. Right there. I think she's, she's looking, looking pretty, pretty good. good. I said consummate, consummate bees. Bees. Consummate. consummate. Jeez. I wouldn't know majesty if it came up and bit him in the face. It happened once. Strong man. You just keep doing your thing, man. Get out of my house. I do what I'm told. Oh, crap. I didn't know you were doing one. Oh, sure. I think I've improved on your methods a bit, too. I employed some chiaroscuro shading and... I'll improve on your methods. What? That's not an improvement. <laughs> Trogdor strikes again. Trogdor! Trogdor was a man. I mean, he was a dragon man. I mean, he was just a dragon. Oh. But he was still Trogdor! And the truck door comes in the night! I do not have the truck door board game, no. No. Uh, Jackson being so weird and cuddly with the emotional support, Jeremy. Oh, well, good boy. The helicopter game. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this. This was like, this is back before we had, uh, this is back before we had Angry Birds. We had the helicopter game. Truck door games, hella hard. You have to come over to play it sometime. I'm fucking, I'd come out there and play with, play a fucking board game with y'all. Shit. I wish you could have video that was a translate. Listen, it's sometimes you just have to, you know, like you have to feel the pup love in your heart. It just doesn't. There's nothing proper that can properly capture it. Like when a pup is being extra good boy. Like what do you do? What do you do? Not much you can do. You can feel the pup love in your jellies. I can feel it in my jellies. Listen. Picking that up from the Detective Pikachu movie is that's one of my favorite things to say is I can feel it in my jellies. I love it. Speaking of video game movies, I, I want to go see Sonic 2. Um, Nova was talking about this in her Discord uh, yesterday, I think. Um, but um, she's like, did you know that there are Sonic movies? I'm like, yes. I saw the first one, which I absolutely loved. And the second one I really want to see. And apparently people like the second one even more than they like the first one. So, I really want to go see it. Beniner, that's lewd, buddy. That's lewd. He is such a good bubba. Him such a good boy. It does make sense. Offers up her jellies for Beniner. That's a that's a different kind of jelly. That's a that's a That's more that's less of a jelly and more like a wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 
Fritz, I'm assuming I'm assuming you you accidentally omitted a word there. You'd say it's less of a jelly and more of a jam. All right, you don't know my life. I think I know your life. I'm pretty sure I know your life. I'm, I mean, just just a smidge. You can't. I, I'm assuming you meant to say you can't go wrong with Idris Elba, which you can't go wrong. Um, Booking.com has commercials with him in it now, which are just great. It's like we're not. It's like we're not cool or hip or lit. We're definitely not lit. It's like we're we're named Booking.com. Like, I just I love it so much. It's so good. By the way, uh, loaf. Let me tell you about the loaf. First of all, the loaf. First of all, the loaf. This absolute heckin' angel baby. Um, like she was. She sat this. She sat earlier today, so I could get a picture of her to send to Bean. I'm like, she's she's been been such a good girl. Wait, Wisty, why did you have to go talk to the cops again? What in the hell? What in the absolute shit? So. <laughs> I always forget the knots and the cants. Yeah, I know what you mean, Fritz. Um, yeah, there's Lo the loaf. Loaf is like, what the, what the, what the fuck, Wistie? Why did you have to talk to the cops? What are cops? Can I, can I have food? Bro, like I had, I had my lunch earlier, eating some of the prime rib, and she's like, so there's a toolbox under my desk, and she got on the toolbox, and she's like sticking her head out and like looking around, like, hey, bro, bro, you got snacks? She's like trying to turn her head around to to look at the food. Because she's like, hey, you got food? She loves she loves begging for food. Good lord. Good lord, this child. I love this cat so much. Jesus Christ, I love this cat. Got any games on your phone? Bro, she really, she's like, legit, but like, her tiny little face. Like, okay, I gotta go back for the face. Like, look at this absolute little heckin' angel. Like, fucking. Look at this baby. Look at her. On her face. Like, what a soft baby face. She's so small, too. She's just a little baby. The boys in your neighborhood that keep bullying and harassing Ari and her friend a couple weeks ago, one of them claimed that they beat him up and their mom called the cops. What the fuck? The fuck, Wisty? The favorite part about Tani is how Tani likes kitties. Tani. Tani. Kitties, am I right? Tani knows what's up. They know what's going on. She's so small. She's just a baby. Or just a baby. Oh. Hey. Come here. Speaking of just a baby. You know, the baby. Look, Loaf, that's you. Here's our you. Baby. What are you doing? What you doing, kid? Oh, oh, oh. You're your tiny baby. I was telling everybody how you're the best kitty. Did you know you're the best kitty? Did you know? Yeah. You're just a baby. Oh. The star of the show has arrived. Who's this star? the box if you would like to explore it she doesn't get in she doesn't get in boxes but she likes to snuggle the flaps on the boxes i don't know i don't know oh let's see uh today they planted themselves across the street from her friends and were crashing and calling taking care of your kids oh jesus christ wistie fucking yeah um pup she is so she's Going to the vet on Saturday uh, to get a shot, and there, of course, they'll weigh her then. But she's either five or six pounds. She was five pounds when we got her at the shelter, so I imagine she's put on a little bit now. Maybe not like a full pound. I know. Yeah, because there's paper on the floor. <gasps> Hi, Matt. Bye, Matt. Uh, I know, Benita. You gotta come snuggle the kitty. She will. She will hide though. She will hide. So, so is your phone all uh, set up and ready to go? No, not yet. It's uh, it's it's downloading updates. I I might have uh, reached the end of the uh, 
the new Alliance raid in the middle of you doing your unboxing, and I was like, mm, mm, I'm probably not going to hear him, but I need to jam out to this fucking music that's goddamn good. That's fair. It's it's doing the optimizing apps part of the system update. Mm. You know, as Android does. I don't know what that means, but I know Android's oh, it doing means, it. Oh, it means wait for five minutes, probably. Oh, and okay, then, that sounds about right, yeah. And then say it's good. So, I also got the bumper case for it. Um, for playing WoW, yeah. Let's see. I was just going to say whether they keep seeking them out. Well, I mean, Wistie, I just... I don't know what to tell you. Like, if the kids, if the kids aren't going to listen... Uh, So is this like, oh, hey, that's a thing. Sent me a pic of a panda being extra weird. Okay. Let's see. Let's see here. Well, that's doing that. I think I'm going to bumper it up. Okay, so let's take... It's the game that just got its scaly uh, expansion announced. That's what WoW is. Scalies? They got scalies? Literally, dragon expansion. Okay. I think it's called dragon flight is what they're calling it, and it's it's dragons. Dragon, uh, dragon. Do they add dragons and also redo their crafter gathers to be just like 14's crafter gathers? Yes, and I'm okay with it. Listen, if it fucking works... Mm-hmm. Yes, Bowser, I am watching you walk around outside because I can't trust you to not eat fucking dirt while you're out there. He's just looking at me like, what? What doing? What doing? BRB, okay, Tony. What's wow? Never heard of her. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Pup's like I told you, he's building up his immunities. He's eating that dirt. That's how we built up immunities as kids. Well, I mean, you didn't. Dirt has too much seasoning for uh, for Lolly. He's he's not into it. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Dirt. Dirt's a little gamey for me. It's fine. Hmm. Dirt's a little gamey for you. <laughs> Jesus. It doesn't do well with my palate. Oh mm. my god. You absolute freaking dork. So I'm I'm expecting my meeting with the Bobs tomorrow, right? Uh what's your meeting with the Bobs about? They're gonna sit me down and be like, "So, what exactly do you do here?" Oh yeah, no, that's. And I'm gonna be like, "I break the build, I break the build." Yeah. But it looks like you're working. Hmm. Ice bear needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Butter kitty, well, hello. I love, I love that. Like usually, Evie and Butter kitty show up in pairs. <laughs> but I'm a people person. I am good at dealing with people. What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, just so we're clear, I love you all very much and thank you for being... No, Karen, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Let me tell you something else. If you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached... Would say thank you for being a friend. <laughs> it's true, Butter Kitty. You do live together. It's true. Okay. All right. So the bumpers have been applied to the phone. It wasn't very painful at all. It was nice. That worked out well. I like that it like the bumpers come in this thing, like arranged where they're supposed to be, and it's like, hey, this is where they go, and I'm like, all right, cool, I can, I can do that, I can, I can make that happen. 
Okay, now I choose my language again. I'm connected to the internet. I got all my stuff. Now it's going to check for updates again. Look, there's another update. This time it's 477 megs. Um, okay. So that goes over here. Okay. Ah, oh, I also love a good bumper application. Oh, when you get like, when you take the screen protector and it goes on just right, oh, no bubbles, oh, so satisfying, so satisfying. I have no clue what you're talking about with that. I have never been able to achieve that. Uh, I used to uh, work as just as, as a hobby. I used to hang out and work at a buddy of mine, uh, had a vinyl sign shop. So I learned how to do that stuff. Which means I, I can't. You can't. I'm so bad at it. Which means I need I need a new phone case and I need a new screen protector. Well, yeah. I mean, I I probably need a new case, but I don't know. We'll see how long the bumper lasts. Well, that bumper was like thirty bucks. Anyway, so when I put the 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 windows in this room or the window because it's just one window one big window uh in this bedroom uh i tinted it so i got tint for it and i got the application kit with like um the like the liquid that you can put down to adjust and all that and the squeegee and everything and i got a pretty goddamn solid on here it was pretty good pretty good perfect application such hotness it's true butter kitty it's true peel oh oh Evie, Evie, you know when you get like a new something, like some kind of device, and it could be a phone, it could be a fucking fridge, it doesn't matter, but like when there are glossy surfaces on it, and they have the plastic overlay on it, and you can just peel that off, just peel it off, just the satisfaction of, or like when my, my PC case came in, like the whole front of it's glossy, so I just got to slowly peel the plastic off of the gloss, glossy surface of the front of my computer case. Oh, it's just so good. And, and even better when there's like, there's multiple surfaces that you have to do that to. Oh yeah. But you don't yeah. realize it. And then you so find then it's like you a discover bonus discover it later. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like finding a fiber in the dryer. It really is. It really fucking is. God, it's the little things. Karen. It's the little Karen, things. Hey, if you're not already, where's my Karen button? Go follow Karen. She's wonderful and we love her. She's an amazingly talented artist. She does pyrography. She burns wood. She literally burns shit on her stream and it turns out beautiful. Go follow her. Also, f go subscribe to her YouTube channel because she has an incredible voice. Holy shit. Go do it. Do it now. You found a Peely doing a dishwasher it. earlier. Oh, nice. Hey, I have it on good authority that uh, Karen Day is her name. It's true. It's true. Karen Day is her name. I, I've, I've heard this same rumor. Who the fuck needs serotonin when you can just peel the plastic off of surfaces? Exactly. Like it, just, it makes the serotonin. It does. It does. It's like a serotonin generating machine. That's Oh my god, what if that's what's in the adhesive? Maybe that's what makes the plastic stick to the, the, the glossy surface is serotonin. So when you peel it off, it releases it and you just catch it. It's like, whoa, this feels amazing. It feels incredible. Save peeling your computer case for a rainy day? Yeah. Yeah. Just... Never peel the protective plastic layer off. I can't. I have to. I have to. It's listen. It's one of the things in life that brings me just pure, like uncut joy. I love it so much. Snuggling the kitty also does that, and the bean, but also peeling the plastic. Oh god! Also holding know. Bean's hand. Listen here. I will have none of that. I will have none of that. How many pull requests do I have open right now? I have two pull requests 69. open. Eh, nice. Uh, I have two pull requests open and two... Uh, two... No, I have two pull requests open and one branch outstanding for a feature request that someone put in. And I'm like, right, listen... 
I'm gonna ping the dev team. They, I, I said, listen, here's the thing. I want to do it. Do it, you coward. I probably will. Like, I'll probably do it tomorrow and be like, hey, it's been a couple days, so I'm just gonna here. Here's the thing. Here's, listen, nobody answered me, and I solved the problem in a way that matches how we're doing things now in the bot. So you know. <laughs> I showed you my pull request. Please respond. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I, me too, pup. Like, I just, I love doing that stuff. It's so good. Two moments where I noticed that you didn't peel off all the plastic, or years later, peeling off plastic that you missed. Bonus peel. Yeah, exactly. Bonus peel. It's so good. It's so good. I don't know, like, I don't understand it. I just know that I like it, and it's satisfying. And it makes me feel like, like a thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly I'm saying right now. But, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's all I got. Oh, doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. I'm fishing again. You fishing again? Mm hmm. All right, listen, for those of you who weren't here on Monday, so Lolly has one thing. He has one n n final, like, undone thing in Final Fantasy XIV. This game that has been around for several years and has, count them, not one, not two, not three, but four expansions, and that's after they blew away the game and started from essentially scratch with it. He has one thing left undone in this game. And it's catching a fish. One fish now. One. Just one. He's down to the last fish. I can, I can PvP in Triple Triad, too. Could go mount farming. Too. Like, I have stuff I can do. Just quests, though. But holy shit. I don't want to do any of it. Yeah, I don't believe that me. requires peopling. And, oh. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Peopling in my MMO? <laughs> new cubecon booth idea peeling biodegradable bioplastic off of things hey listen listen tani don't don't say that too loud like nova nova is already submitting fucking like like shit for it like nova's already like hey i got a booth i'm sponsoring i'm sponsoring cubecon green oh oh ranger didn't take it because here i'll i'll do it for you there you go buddy it's like it's it's automagical. So like when you put anything other than the color, then it doesn't do it automatically. So I took care of it for you. Also, hi Ranger, how you doing, bud? Let's see. You can't have it try and parse the string for the chat. It has to Well, it does it does parse the string, but I guess I guess I could try to make it do it just off of like the first word. I'm not going into much detail. I'm disappointed recently in a way that has really hurt your heart and left you incredibly sad. Please know you're okay with this will pass as these things do. So never listen, Karen. Karen, I know I know we've been going on about nonsense tonight, like phones and peeling plastic off of shit and the cat trying to steal my prime rib. But I love you. I'm very sorry. I know this that disappointing things are well, not great. But I'm glad that you have, you know, a positive outlook and just know that we love you and anything we can do to help, you let us know. Okay, Beniner, Lolly fucking did that at the beginning of the stream. He actually, <laughs> he actually put in black and the lights just went off. It turned off. <laughs> Because it turns the brightness down to zero, because it's it's black. Oh, you're not the best today. Stomach troubles and headache. Ooh, oh, that's such a bad combo. Like one or the other is manageable, but both together, that's the double whammy, and that's no fun. But I'm sorry, that sucks. Wish this crew would go to events and just do Twitch live coverage. Listen, Nova, I swear to God, I want to. I just like like I can't go to KubeCon. I don't know how. I don't. I don't know how fucking. Kubernetes works. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly. I don't know how to say Kubernetes. 
I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. What, what's in Detroit? You yeah, to, Evie, Evie's you have to like... Know what, uh... but, oh, what were you going to say? I was going to say, you have to know what poggers means for you to know how to say Kubernetes properly. Oh, Ludernetes. <laughs> uh, Comic-Con. Yeah, Evie's like, what's this about Detroit? Evie's like, uh, I, 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 live, I live on an international border. What's this about Detroit? We're not Detroit! Yeah, Benina, when when the lights just went off behind me, that was black. When it's when Lolly put in all zeros, that was just black. They just they're just gone. They just went off. They just turned off. Almost Canada, but not quite. Almost. KubeCon North America is in Detroit this year. Oh. I can't go to KubeCon. I would like to go just to hang out with people. Like, okay. I've gone to I've been fortunate enough to go to several Microsoft build conferences cuz like I'm fucking like, I, I'm a Microsoft. You like developer. Microsoft? Yeah. What? Yeah. Listen, I've been building on the Microsoft stack forever with Microsoft tech and Microsoft languages and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, in like the build conference, like all the content's online. I don't go, I don't go for fucking. I don't go for the fucking content. You watch the content. I go to see people. I go to spend time with people. And I know a lot of the people that are there. And so I just go. I just hang out in the fucking, like, um, the the exhibit hall. Because fucking all, all of my favorite people work the fucking booths. So Microsoft has containers too. You were on the Azure containers team for like a year. Yeah, yeah. Nova, Nova. Hey, Lolly. Lolly, tell, tell Nova what all of our shit is powered by at work uh developers that break everything yeah but what fucking infrastructure is all of our new shit on oh uh service fabric yeah service fabric yeah all of our all of our shit's currently on service fabric and we're about to move it off of service fabric at some point Microsoft containers used to literally be large shipping containers that could be stacked to rapidly build data centers I remember when they did that I remember when they did that. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're running on fucking service fabric. Yep, we sure are. We sure are. Listen, we're trying to update all of our stuff to do like .NET five and .NET six now that it's out. Um, and we're we're going to move over to AKS. Um, which so I got to learn Kubernetes. I got to learn how to fucking say it. Then I got to learn how the fuck it actually works. Which is just going to be a whole thing. Ooh, you have blueberries? Ooh, we have blueberries too. We have blueberries and we have fucking mandarin oranges. Oh, I'm making a fruit salad with those tomorrow. You wrote the AKS control loop? Well, then... Evie, that word's that's that's cuticle, and you can't tell me otherwise. That's as cuticle. That's all. That's the best you're getting out of me. Uh, that's it. Now it's all a cloud. Photons bouncing off of water droplets. That's it. And don't and the dust. Don't forget the dust. The dust is very important. It kind of holds it all together, you know. Lurking for homework. Okay, Liz. Enjoy your well. Enjoy your homework. Cube cuddle. Cube cuddle. <laughs> it's cube cuddles. That's what me and Lollipop used to do when we worked in an office together. We did cube cuddles. Um, and like Pokemon, and that was about it. Yes, we also did play Pokemon. He sent me a... Uh, he sent me... What did you send me? Um, I don't know. He sent me something once because I couldn't get it in Crystal. Hey, phone's on... I think Re it was uh, a Growlithe. Is Growlithe right or one. Vulpix? Can't remember. It might have been both. I don't know. It might have been both. All right, let's see. All right, do I have updates in round three? No updates. Use my old device. I don't want to use my old device. Can't use old device. Nope. We're start from scratch, people. Okay, got to sign in to my my googly account. That I don't use. 
Wait. Can I do this? Will this work? Ooh, okay. Now I gotta figure out what my password is for my Google account, because it's stupid and ridiculous and long and randomly generated. Hunter 2? Get out. Stop that. Alright, what do we got here? Um, I know I don't have a SIM card in this, okay? I gotta go get my password, cause like it's it's just not here. New password can't be the same as old password. <laughs> Me puts in password wrong. Me puts in password again wrong. Oh god, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass. The next fifteen minutes of stream is just me entering my fucking Google password. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Oh damn it! How did you know my password? Who told you? Uh, I it's think they made a song about it, bud. Oh, why would they write a song about my password? That's a real that, like weird flex, but okay. Social engineering. Oh. That makes sense, yeah. Hey, the word run is in my Google password. That's cool. I think I'm 25 characters in. Zunder password run. <laughs> Any percent? <laughs> oh, it also has like the, you know how the it has the emoticon with like like the the sideways, like the the side mm, face where it's like the equal sign and the slash. That's in there mm. somewhere. Nova's taking notes so that she can try to brute force my password later. All right. It's fine. We all actually know your password. It's I hold Bean's hand. That is not my password. Yes, exactly like that, Nova. Your professor used it as an online test password. Okay, that's neater. That's that's good. That's good. Okay. Add phone number. Uh. Okay, I guess more options. Aha. And don't update my phone number settings. Yes, I agree to the terms of service. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to use this goddamn phone. Okay. No backups. I know. Because I don't back them you up. You agree to give Microsoft your firstborn? Oh, no. I haven't gotten to the Microsoft part yet. I'm still doing the fucking Google part of it. BoopKit would work on Android. You could just boop it. That's true. BoopKit would work on Android. Shame Raspberry Pis became unobtainium. Oh, I know. Listen, I was looking for one this week because I had to switch all of my home stuff. Well, okay. I have an Insteon system. Insteon's a it's a home automation system. Um and it's got their like they have their own proprietary technology that works over oh, oh, disagrees to TOS. Okay, bye. Your password is not Kitten's Heart. Yeah, no, no, Tony's password Tony would never make that their password. Never. Um, so Insteon does like their switches and, and stuff are like they're dual. So they do wireless, but they also do power line communication as well. So like they can talk in both, uh, Oh, waves and Zigbee suits. So Evie, you're familiar. You're familiar. Um, so Insteon, I like it because it does both and like it can do like this whole repeater thing with the hub and then like grab blah, 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 blah. Great. Um, so Insteon has been very quiet for the last year. And then all of a sudden their servers, like all their service servers went dark a few days ago. So all of us have been migrating to other shit, mostly home assistant. Um, and, uh, I've been trying to set up home assistant and I haven't run in a VM on here. I'd rather put it on a pie. But the, the newest pie I have is a two B and it doesn't work on two B. It only works on three and up. So I was just going to get a fucking, four but like you said they're unobtainium so yeah yeah 
you want to get trapped into a Wi-Fi based service. I will say, I will say that's the nice thing about the Insteon is it still works inside the house and you can still interface with the hub directly and do stuff to it. The documentation on the, on the whole thing is just trash. And like, I have this weird thing because my thermostat isn't an Insteon thermostat. It's a different thermostat that has like an expansion port that had like Insteon could connect to and interface with. So it's slightly different the way it communicates than the Insteon direct stuff. Cause my, I'm, I'm in Florida, so I have a heat pump. Um, uh, so the heat pump, they didn't at the time, Insteon didn't have a heat pump, um, compatible thermostat. So you had to get this other one as the solution. There's a very small window in which they made one and I could get one and I didn't. So that's done now. Uh, back up to Google Drive. No. Use location. Fine. Allow scanning. Allow apps and services to scan for Wi-Fi networks and nearby services at any time, even when Wi-Fi or Bluetooth are, is off. No. Then usage and diagnostic data. Not to fucking Google. Fine. You can download and install apps. Oh, here we go. Now we're now we're to the mothership portion of this whole thing. Maybe Windows could become boopable. EBPF for Windows from Microsoft is a thing. I mean, we got WSL, and like they keep like WSL keeps getting lower and lower into the kernel. So fucking why not? Need a cute name for your SBCs. Mm. Box of RPIs labeled small computies. Small computies. They are small computies. You could set up like a cluster of really cute computers that way, Nova. Just set up like the cutest little cluster you ever did see. I agree to the Microsoft agreement. Okay, sign in. This is going to be the fun part. <gasps> Hi, Danielle. It's only a matter of time until Lindos returns. I remember Lindos. Okay, sign into my Microsoft account. Microsoft Authenticator. Okay, okay, let's do this. Danielle, how are you? Ralph made chili? Oh, fuck. Listen, listen. I just want... I want... Picture of a god dang hot dog? Well, yeah, actually, I want to... I, no, I just want... Authenticator. Yeah, Authenticator. Um, yeah, I will send optional diagnostic data to the mothership. Why not? Use location for local weather. Sure. Back up with OneDrive. Absolutely. Yes. Keep my contacts in sync with Outlook. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Set a pin. Okay. Okay. Cool. Add another fingerprint. Nachos with loaded with bacon. Oh god, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds so good. Mmm, dinner. Okay. Uh add all the follow I don't want to add any okay, what am I gonna add? I'm gonna add LinkedIn and TikTok, I guess. Okay. Okay. Open two apps at the same time. I can have two apps at the same time. Have I heard of Tachos? Ew. Yes, Nova. Yes. I sure have, and I fucking love them. I love Tachos. Arr. Listen, you put tater tots in anywhere, and it's just fucking fantastic. I love fucking tots. Play the original Final Fantasy for the original Nintendo? I did. I have Fritz. Aren't you playing it right now on stream? You started a playthrough of all mages and named the characters after the guys on King of the Hill? Nice. Both screens to work. Get back to where you were. Okay, I'm all set. Are we done? Is it done?
Oh my god, I think it's done. Hank, Bill, Jeff, and Dale. Nice. Did you know that tater tots are potato toddlers? They are, in fact, potato toddlers. Like, it's so weird, isn't it? It's so weird. There's a place in Windsor called More Taters, Please. Nice. I have not determined if it is a Canadian chain. Speaking of potatoes, made a smoked version of Patatas Pravas a couple of weeks ago. It was so good. Ooh. It's never done. I'll be updating forever. That's it. It's, that's it. That's that's my life now. It's just updating. But I got a home screen. So I got that. Taters equals potato. Tots equals toddlers. Yeah. Yeah. You're eating potato, children. Hmm. <laughs> Hickory smoke. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I've done this. I've done all of this. What are you doing? Okay, are you done? Are we done here? And now I need to figure out what's going on with my. With my sim because like it's telling me no oh it's probably because like i don't i don't have it the xenos paradox of windows updates oh my god it's so true though and i'm on fucking release preview so i get updates earlier ben and jerry's mint chocolate cookie ice cream oh bean would be all about that life i'm not big on mint but bean she would be fucking about that life oh my god Ben and Jerry's though. So there's a show that was on Food Network. Um, I think it's on Discovery Plus. I don't know if it was on like Food Network, Food Network. If it was like aired, it might have. But I knew I know it was on Discovery Plus. Um and it was it's called uh Ben and Jerry's was it Battle of the Cones, I think. And they had like ice cream makers come in and they had this competition to see who would like win. And the winner like won a cash prize and they also had their flavor of ice cream um featured at their local ben and jerry's store um but like one of the first things that they had to do was they had to go to the ben and jerry's flavor graveyard and revive one and put their own twist on it and like it was just so cool it was so cool all about the chocolate chip mint ice cream yeah that's i think i think if bean had to pick one favorite that would be it would be mint chocolate chip must resist seeing if the ice cream shop is open do it evie give in Give in to the ice cream. Hiltzy, hey! Hiltzy, how are you doing, buddy? What you up to? That's true. Bean, Bean and Karen are both just absolutely wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Raspberry or cookies and cream? Oh, I do love cookies and cream. And listen, I know, I know that that's like a, that's sort of a basic move, but I don't care. Okay, I gotta install my password manager now. So that I can use my passwords on shit. Oh my god, this is so cool! I love using this thing already. Here you have ice cream in your freezer. Ooh. Ray just finished stream. Now you need to go find food. Ooh, get some food, buddy. Get some food. Oh, they closed at eight. And it's yeah, it's nine ish. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Evie. Little chocolate chip, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. Also, Tom just posted something in the random channel in the Discord. If you haven't seen it yet, and I'm sure you haven't because you're here, go into the Discord and look. It's just hilarious. Restore existing from OneDrive. Restore from OneDrive. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is still on this phone. I need to install Authenticator too. Yes, I would love to stay signed in. No, not cookie dough, just chocolate chip. Oh, just like vanilla with chocolate chips in it. Oh. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I don't think I've done that. I think I've, uh, like, when I do. Uh, chocolate chip, I usually do cookie dough. Uh, they have, when they're open, they have cotton candy, candy Rito that wraps the chocolate. Oh, Jesus. 
Butter Kitty loves the birthday cake and unicorn sprinkles ice cream in it. Okay, listen. You ever had Funfetti dip? You take, basically, you take uh, cream cheese and Cool Whip and Funfetti cake mix and you put it together and make a fucking dip out of it. It will kill you. It's delicious. It's a great way to go. The Mary Poppins thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, in, uh, was it the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie? Um, Yondu, the character that's in the image there, um, cool whip, that cake killed me and then revived me. Yeah, it's, the, 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 the funfetti, the funfetti dip is just, yeah. You, like, get fucking animal crackers and just, um, but the, uh, so in Guardians of the Galaxy, Yondu is one of the characters and he's an alien, he doesn't know, like, Earth stuff, and so... At one point, they're like floating with like umbrellas down, um, like after some like fight or something, and so he's like, "I'm Mary Poppins, y'all," because like uh, Star Lord, the main character, is from Earth. He's like, uh, he's like, kind of look like Mary Poppins right now. He's like, he's like Mary Poppins, was he cool? He's like, yeah, he was cool. He's like, "I'm Mary Poppins, y'all." So I don't know. You had to be there, I guess. He said to be there. Damn. Thanks a lot, buddy. Okay, let me... Cool. Yes. Uh, autofill, yes. Uh, in pass, yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, in pass. One other devices. I'm already registered with in pass. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I love Guardians of the Galaxy too. I I I also did. I'm not a I'm not a fan of uh Chris Pratt really. But I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, it's just... I know it's Marvel, but it's different, you know? Different. Beniner, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Person from Avatar you, Blue uh... Man. Oh, I can, I can understand that, Nova. I can see where you would get that from. I can see where you get that from. Uh, Michael Rooker went to Disneyland, took a picture with a Mary Poppins, and posted that online. Oh, my God. Okay, that would be really cool to see. I gotta go find that later thought Chris Pratt was bad. Yeah, Chris Pratt Chris Pratt's not. Yeah, he, no. No, he's kind of a shit. Uh, you're marveled out. Yeah, I can understand that. But you know, I have right, Let's move this over here. Oh, actually, do I want to put this over here? I do. Now, can I autofill it? Auto -fill. What do you mean contents can't be autofilled? Fuck you, they can't be autofilled. Who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck does this thing think it is? Family time, gonna go watch Sonic. Nova, I love you. Have a good night. I'm gonna put, the, put my stupid thing down. I love you. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy watching the Sonic. Yeah, Pratt has some sketchy all kinds of things, and he's just, he's kind of a jerk face. Iceberg will steal show, he's as the, usual. He's the inferior of all the Chris's. Thank you, Daniel, for the host. Okay, love you, heart to buy. Ah. Uh, let's see. I kind of dig that the biometrics are on the, uh... Like, Iceberg will steal the... show, as usual. Nova, thank you for the host. I love you. Hey, you go have family time and watch some Sonic.
How do I activate? Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. I love it so much. I just It's just it's just so good. It's so good. Thank you for the bits, Evie. I appreciate you. Oh, the Danielle. Like, just watching Nine. Nine went fucking ham, first of all, in Fortnite. But just fantastic. Where's the redeem panel? Okay, so it should be... I want to say it's under the... I want to say it's down, like, below the stream on desktop and I think it, it might be no it's an overlay it's over top of the stream so if you hover over the stream um, then you should see it it's a little pop out there that you can do so it's over top of it when you hover and that way it, I did that that way so it works better on mobile too because mobile is just weird mobile is really weird I watched Finding Ohana with one of the goblins last night. Finding Ohana. Ooh, I have to look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's the sound alerts, Karen. Yep. Yep. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Hey, uh, hey, Lolly. Do I look like I know um, what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a hey, god dang, dang, dang hot dog. Hi, Miss Ayla. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to change hats. <laughs> thank you, pup. And thank you all for starting the hype train. I got to figure out what's going on with my phone. It doesn't like, uh, it's, it's not. We tried turning it off and then back on again. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, actually, I have. Ah. Uh. So, Ayla, I got a new toy. I have, uh, what's the battery level? Oh, it's a 55, that's fine. I have a new phone. I got a Surface Duo 2. As you can see, it's very shiny and already very fingerprinty. But it's got the little bumperies on the outside now, so that's nice. But it's got two screens. You know. Titanic song? Huh? I feel like this is Titanic. It it fucking is. Oh my god, that's that's great.
Boom. I found the thing, Evie, I found the thing where you can add the second sim if you want to do um, the... If you want to do your additional network, there's a there's a plus sign up next to the mobile network. Stop being blurry. Stop being blurry. Eh, whatever. Phone size queen. The Pro Max. Oh, nice. It's not as big as you were thinking, honestly. Ouch. Ouch. Those moons look like buns. Mmm. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. I like. I like like sticky buns. Right, I'm gonna reboot this thing. See what happens. The Pro Max Mini MIDI. <laughs> Time to pay off your laptop and get that on your save up for list. I mean, it's I'm not I'm not mad at it. I gotta just make sure that the Home card works. Do 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 do. Can I take my phone, can I take like the phone off of my account though? Help center. Let's see. Problems activating. No, not that. I'm trying to figure out why I can't activate my phone now or why it won't work. Let's see. Bring your own phone. Check compatibility, Android. Oh, I gotta put in my IMEI. Figure this out. I don't know. I gotta change that. This is nice, though. I like it. You're nice, though. Your face is nice. Oh, yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Yeah, got you. You don't even know what to do. No idea. Not, not a clue. Okay, let's go to about. Still not working. Right, let's look at my IMEI and make sure it works. Some numbers. Uh-huh. 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 Oh. Hey, I bought a new phone that doesn't work. For real? Yep. Even though it's supposed to work on it's the it's the MVNO. Like it works on the network. It works on the network but not the MVNO. So I have... Finney's, wait, Finney's graduating soon. Got her big prize on the door. She's a legit winner. Look at Finney go. Look at Finney go. I'm so proud of you. Finney, if you see this, I'm so proud of you. I love you. Also, thank you all for starting that hype train. 
I appreciate it. <sighs> hey, you know what? I'm going to change my phone service anyway. Fuck it. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just change my phone service while I'm here. Uh, this is this is wholly disappointing, though. But yeah, like it's it's compatible with the network, but apparently the MVNO doesn't work with it, which is stupid because it's Verizon's own MVNO. Yeah, so the MVNO isn't playing nice; it's visible, which is Verizon's in-house, in fucking house. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to change my service. Fuck it. Let's see. Let me. Uh, I'm going to see my, if this is. Uh, you may find that yeah. you may list feature. Yeah, great. So the problem is, though, it's the MVNO. Yeah, it's not going to work. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. You're going to pop off and shut down for the night. You need to go lay down. Listen, Karen, you go take care of yourself. I love you so very much. I hope you feel better soon. If there's anything that you need from me, you know where to find me. Okay? You let me know. I love you. Eating foods and getting ready to take after dinner meds. Good, Wisty. Good. Very, very good. Uh, uh, excuse me, Viv. I love you. So, heck at you. I wonder if the eSIM would work. Can they do eSIM? I don't know if they can do eSIM. We're going to find out, though. I love that I can stand my phone up like and just stand it up. It just stands. Maybe the eSIM will work. Let's let's find out. I I sincerely doubt it because the IMEI, the one didn't work. So oh god, I got to turn off the tappy touch sounds. Okay. IG eSIM Verizon. Oh, see, Evie, Evie, you're coming in clutch, friendo, and I appreciate you. Uh, no. Mm. Oh, they prefer not to be referred to as an MVNO because they're wholly owned by Verizon. Like, fuck you. You're not Verizon. You don't... That's like... Fuck you. Alright, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how this works. Because I got an eSIM in here, and I could just do this right the fuck now. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, 
Foxtastic. So Mint Mobile does it. I have excellent coverage. It's a 5G capable device. And it's part of the 5G coverage area for Mint Mobile. You got six and 12 months plans. Wait, 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 why is that? Mm, I don't know. You gotta fuck you and you gotta fuck you. Everyone gets to fuck you. It's like the fucking, it's like fucking, what was it? Um, oh, fuck. What was the movie with the, uh, oh, Half Baked. Half Baked, where it's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. I'm out. That's basically what's going on here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're, we're gonna have to figure this the fuck out. Well, I feel like a big old pile of dumb right now. So, the MVNO doesn't play nice. The... Uh, well, whatever. I'm a big old dingus. I maintain that it's not my fault. I mean, it's totally my fault, but I maintain that it's not my fault. Oh, well. What are you going to do? <laughs> that depends, Wisty, if you... uh, Only consensually. Only if it's consensual. I have to sign in to the Authenticator app by authenticating on a different device before I can use the Authenticator app. For 14? No. From my Microsoft Authenticator. Oh. Okay, I'm doing the sync now. It's true. That's just like you need a pair of scissors to open a new pair of scissors. I know. I fucking know, Viv. I know. It's just like. Wait until I tell Bean that I bought a phone that doesn't fucking work. Waited on this phone. Waiting for two generations of this phone. For like a year and a half, I've been hemming and hawing on this fucking phone. And what do I do? I buy a phone that doesn't fucking work. Me too, Wisty. I am also kind of a sleepy bish. Ah. Uh, 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 no, you don't, you don't, no. You don't get to do that, Google. You don't get to start emailing me. I don't want Google welcome emails for new devices. Get the fuck out of here. I know how to take care of my device. The absolute turd. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna have to get a new fucking service provider. Well, that's fine. I've had I've had this one long enough. You're you're committing to the bit there. <laughs> like, well, I guess I gotta gotta get a new service provider now. What are you gonna do? Tweet from the bear account. I do not know if I know enough about being a bear, and I do not know who to ask about knowing more about being a bear. I am a bear. I feel that on a spiritual level. Oh, for God's sake, Bean. Ah. Uh. Pup, pup, do exclamation sub sound. Wish you say you might call it early. I yeah. love you. There you go. There you go. Does your phone account plan is old enough to vote? Woof, EV. Holy shit. 
Oh, well, I guess I gotta put the sim back in this piece of shit. Daniel might be high. Blaze it, smoke them if you got them. It's 420, baby. Smoke them if you got them, and you're legally allowed to, and you won't get fired for doing it. Because I would. Listen, I, bu I opened this phone two hours ago, and I've already lost the SIM key. It's been two hours. Oh, I ate it. Oh, buddy. Oh, I needed that. I oh. thought it was going to work. I had confidence. What, eating the SIM key? No, the phone was going to work. You wouldn't need the SIM key anymore. Oh, yeah, me too. Last phone you'll ever wear. Or the so I thought. Something like that. Nine, 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 nine. Remember, remember, okay, hold on. Hold on, nine, nine. First of all, nine, nine. But also nine. Did you do you do you remember do you remember that time? Do you remember that time that you went just absolutely ham on a bunch of nerds in Fork Knife? Cause I sure I sure do. By the way, um have I I no, I didn't check my butthole viv, but I found it anyway. No one expects the land boat. Nobody expects the land boat. Listen, that was while while we're all here, while we're all here nine, that was absolutely that was absolutely me passing on Viv's legacy. All right. Viv Viv started the wonderful tradition of me recognizing land boats. And I'm just I could not be more thankful to have a Viv that knows about the land boat. It's fantastic. So proud to see your legacy live. Or uh, see your legacy live on. I didn't see the on. Uh, hey, who wants to tell Bean that I bought a uh, I bought a thousand dollar fucking phone that doesn't work? Love driving boats out of the water in that stupid game and blowing shit up with them. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fun. It's so fun. So fun. Listen, like, I was talking to Bean about it when they introduced the new, uh, when they introduced the, the zero build stuff. And I'm like, so they have a Fortnite mode where you don't have to build now. She's like, so it's Call of Duty. I'm like, yes, but with like Master Chef and Spooderman. So it's really goofy Call of Duty. And nobody takes it that seriously, and that makes it fun. Ah. Uh. If you like Land Boat, you may also enjoy Harpoon Shotgun Combo. Listen, Nine, you gotta try that sometime. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Viv will go, it's hilarious. Okay, well, uh, the old phone's back online. Best is holding a chicken and landing on a spider web. Oh, shit, I haven't tried that yet. Because I haven't tried that since spider webs were a thing. Sent me a little something, something. Okay, I'll take a look at it in a few, Benita. Uh Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying the zero builds because I am shit at building. But also, I play on a controller, and I don't have like build presets set up like you can do for controller. So it's just like, bleh. I gotta, yeah. Was it Viv? Who said you couldn't say the hi to me? Who's... You motherfucker. <laughs> no, hey. no, 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 no. <laughs> you motherfucker. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Make it up to her. Hold her hand. Dear. Yeah, except the phone part doesn't work. Visible doesn't fucking work with it. And I wouldn't know that without putting in the IMEI. And I couldn't get the IMEI until I have a device, because it's a serial number. So I guess we're switching providers, baby. What? 
That's what I mean. It has been shitty. And like, you know, we'll get somebody else. Mint Mobile says it works. Time to, time to move on. I am not holding her hand, you bunch of perverts. Hold her hand. I will do one pinky if it will appease all of you. Here. Here. Ah, uh -uh, you get oh, one oh, pinky. Oh. Pinky. All right, get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. Great, you're gonna get me banned from Twitch for 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 obscene content. That's obscene. Get out. I love you. Ugh. Oh. She tried. She tried. She does have little hands. She's got little bean hands, and I got big just bear paws. Actually, I got these are my. Wait, 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 wait. These are my bear hands. These are my bear hands. These are my bare feet. They're bare feet, you see. <sighs> Gratuitous touching. Hidden Valley Ranch. She is the Hidden Valley Ranch. I just want you to know, Ayla, that Bean says that to me now. Whenever I say something raunchy, she'll uh, she'll say uh, and she'll say hidden. She's like, buddy, that's Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh, and of course, Wisty got a clip of it. Oh, hey, I have a thing that we could do this now. Your hand. I will do one pinky if it will appease all of you. This is so weird, seeing it like inset yeah. like this. Here. Ah, uh -uh, you get oh, one oh, pinky. Oh. Pinky. Oh, and nine got one too. Thanks, get mom. Out. Ugh. Great, you're going to get me banned from Twitch for, for, for obscene content. That's obscene. Get out. That is obscene. Get out. Yeah, gratuitous replay. Listen, I have a thing where I can replay stuff like the last video link that's been sent in my chat as long as it's a Twitch clip or a YouTube link. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. It's pretty much the same thing. That's fair. Replay the re Okay, we'll we'll listen. We'll play. We'll I play nine. Still show as usual. Mom, thanks for the host. I love you. All right, we'll play. We'll play. We'll play nines. What? I am not holding her hand, you bunch of perverts. Hold her hand. I will do one pinky if it will appease all of you. <laughs> you bunch of perverts. You are a bunch of perverts. Y'all are a bunch of perverts. All of yeah. you. Got to cook dinner? Oh, nine. Uh, nine. <laughs> I love to cook, but I fucking hate doing it on weekend or weekdays. Right, get out of here. Get it's up. so much goddamn work. It's Great. so You're much gonna get me fucking work, for nine. For, for, for like, obscene I content. love, I love cooking. I do love you, Wisty. I do, you bunch of fucking DJs from up country. Uh, then incept the, re <laughs> then incept the replay, 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 replay. My God. Very little actual help with dishes and other chores. Oh, that's that's tough. That's tough. The boy's help has to be mostly redone. I'm trying to cut back on food and you've got a cra Evie, what do you have a craving for? Evie. Evie, what do you what do you got a craving for? What do you got a craving for? I gotta know. I gotta know. It's replays all the way down, yeah. That's just eventually. That's all my channel is gonna be. It's just like like an inception of replays of the same like thirty seconds, and it just keeps going and going and going. That's eventually all I'll do. Ah. Uh. You know, braid them about it and trying to keep it positive and thank them, show them what they could have done better. It's like, so I'll just do it myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, Nine. I know what you mean. Smoked beef brisket and spicy barbecue sauce. I'm not one for spicy very much, but a good sweet barbecue sauce, especially a honey barbecue. Although, for spicy, 
I do have both a buffalo chicken jerky and a, where is it? Where's the other one? Uh, a sweet and spicy beef jerky. Okay, so Carolina barbecue. No. Don't, don't. Nine, don't come in here with your mustard based bullshit. Get out. Just get out. Get out of here with your fucking vinegar and your mustard based horse shit. Okay? I'll take Alabama white before I do that. Just stop. Stop. You're is not this, doing yourself or us or any favors. Just stop it. Is this something I'm too plain to understand? Yes, you don't. It's condiment talk. You wouldn't understand. Tosses a ribbon knife. Viv, stop that. That is that is not a thing. Listen, if you want beef jerky, this stuff is delicious. It's from beefjerky.com. Best friend Mo is an affiliate with them, okay? Use her referral link that's there and use her code. You get 12% off your order. I do it every time. Every time. Pours maple syrup on something. Hilti, Hilti, look. Look. Maple Madness Pork Jerky. There you go. There's your maple right there, buddy. This stuff is delicious. Okay, buddy the elf. <laughs> uh, uh, Hilti, you just got burned by somebody's mom who, who was owning noobs in Fortnite today. <laughs> you don't want to hear from anyone that mayo is too spicy. Not spicy, but... This fucking guy doesn't like condiments. He doesn't put anything on anything. You're Canadian. Oh, you have to be spicy as milk. Not as spicy as <laughs> milk. Yeah, you're Canadian. You have to. You have to in order to keep your citizenship. Listen, Hilsey, I'm drinking sweet tea. I'm from. I'm from Georgia. So there you go. You don't like mayo. Wait, nine. You're from the Midwest. How do you not like mayo? You people make weird mayo salads with fucking everything. Make your own mayo. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You don't like ketchup either. Ranch is okay. I, then what the fuck do you... What do you put on stuff, Nine? What are you doing? What do you... Do, okay, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming that you're just drinking mustard by the gallon then. If you don't like... If you don't like mayonnaise and you don't like ketchup and you're over here talking about the oh, Carolina barbecue... Listen here. Listen here. A condiment ranking stream. Listen, we, I will do it one day. Don't you, don't you dare, don't you dare tempt me. Is that weird thing they used to make with Jello and mayo or salad dressing? Oh my god, I know what you're talking about, Butter Kitty. Your mom actually has that recipe in her collection. Everything fucking mayo salad. See, see, I told you. It's you, fuck, it's you people from the Midwest. It's all you people from the Midwest. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, listen, while while we're talking about condiments, I really like mayonnaise, okay? So, shirt sure, 9, give me all the mayo you don't want. But let me tell you something. Miracle Whip is a goddamn abomination, and if it comes within 5 feet of me, I will send it flying in an opposite direction. It's trash, and it belongs in the trash. And save your 20k points for ranking the thing stream. <laughs> There's pasta and marshmallows and broken up candy bars. Marinated artichoke hearts in there and shit. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What You're... if... What if we had someone on the inside? And we got someone to just arbitrarily add shit to the PC section of Game Pass Counter? Hmm. Are you saying that you would ask Mike to do it? And I don't think they'll do it. And... Just <laughs> randomly, arbitrarily add on there just a, uh, a fucking ranking stream. Just, just ranking stream. There's nothing else in it. Just, like, it's, <laughs> just, it's just, it's just, it's just a game in the list called ranking stream. Uh huh. Yeah. Now you're missing rye chip heavy checks mix. Oh, the rye chips. Yeah, the rye chips. I gotta be in the mood for the rye chips. Oh, they're too like hard crunchy. Does that make sense? I don't know. Ayla, you are Hidden Valley Ranch, ma'am. 
Kelsey's just yelling from the corner. Kelsey's like, I love my miracle whip. It's on my chicken. It's just all he's doing now. That's it. Crunch. I do love a good crunch. I do love a good crunch, but sometimes they just get hard. The mustard in the mix brings it together. Mm, that's true. That's true. I, I've come around to mustard. I used to not like mustard at all. Except in certain applications, like a good potato salad, and I'm from the south, we have to have a little mustard in our potato salad. Um, but I just, I'm, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm liking mustard on things more and more. Um, there are a couple of booths at the Fourth of July festival in downtown Cedar Rapids that had whole ass barbecue turkey legs. Nothing says America like walking around gnawing on a huge hunk of charred bird carcass. Listen here, it is our right as free Americans. To take a big ass bird, smoke that shum bitch for thirteen straight hours, and just gnaw on it like we's a bunch of dogs, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> night, night has lost her fucking mind. Viv, I love you, buddy. I love you so, so much. Go get all the sleepy sleeps. I hope you have a wonderful, restful night of sleep and a great day tomorrow. Listen, man, I'm from the South. I can't help it. It's like one of those things where, you know, like, Nine sitting here... Uh, nine sitting there playing Fortnite, and she's like, Oh, where are you at now? Where'd you go? Where are you at? <laughs> And like her fucking Midwestern mom accent's coming out. You. There it is. There it is, pup. Giving the Viv all the love. Uh, it's not necessary to change your passwords in stream chat. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, Got to see a turkey dropped into a deep fryer at some point. Oh, yeah. Deep fried turkey. Very good. Although my turkey, I do mine traditional, oven roasted. And let me tell you, I don't have to baste it. And when it comes out... Boy, howdy. Is it just juicy and delicious? So moist. <laughs> Come over here. You have something moist. on your face. Let me get it with a wet wipe. <laughs> I can't do it like nine does. I cannot do it like nine does. Oh I mean, my she has god. Distinct... Then there's that. <gasps> then there's Jerky. that golf chick on TikTok. Oh my god. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, nine. Nine. So this has come up a couple of times before. Um, and I've seen it and Lolly and I have sent it back and forth to each other a couple of times, but there's, there's a woman from Wisconsin on TikTok, and people keep requesting that she does it. And she does Midwest dirty talk and it's hysterical. <laughs> it is absolutely <laughs> fucking hysterical. So if you ever find yourself on the TikTok and away from the kids, look for Midwest dirty talk, you'll find her. And it's hilarious. Like, there's one that's like, like, uh, there's like one where she's like, she's like, oh, are you Culver's? Cause you're just delicious. It's like, like, it just fucking sent me. It sent me. Like, I just, oh my God. Oh my God. All right. We're, this is it. This is it. We're just, I don't know what to do anymore. We're done. Yeah, we're 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 overdone. We're 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 well past done. We are overcooked at this point. Hey, listen, thank you all so much for being here. This was an amazing night, even though I discovered that my new phone doesn't phone. It's fine. I love you, Wisty. I love you all so very, very much. Um so Friday. Friday is my pick. Because Miss Ayla let me pick a you pick game. And I am playing Donut County. I am going to be a hole in the ground and I'm just going to fuck up an entire town full of raccoons, apparently. Like rapo raccoons that are using I uh, tablets on shitters. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's all I got. That's, that's all I know. Um, but yeah. Very much looking forward to playing Donut County. It's going to be just absolutely ridiculous. Um, Sunday is Retro Night. I'm playing Super Mario World. One of my favorite games of all time. I'm going to just have a blast doing it. And we're going to see if I can, like, if I can, inside, like, the two and a half hour span, 
how close I can get to perfecting it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then Monday I'll be back in 14 and a week from tonight. Right here again, doing random bullshit for group therapy night, as I do. Maybe I'll have a, a working new phone by then. Who knows? Stay tuned. Uh, anyway, Nobody thank you all again for being here. Yes, exactly. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, if you're watching and you haven't followed the channel yet, please do so. I would love to have you come back and hang out with us again. Uh, we have an amazing group of people in this community, and I love y'all so very much. I could not do this without all of y'all's support. All right, let's see who's doing stuff. Iceberg is ready to Tokyo Drift. Take your change and have a beautiful... Th Listen, Pumpkin, I love you so much. God, I love you, Pumpkin. You're just ridiculous, and I love you. Um, oh, Angie Pan started late tonight. Should we go see Angie Pan? You would coward. Yeah, we're gonna go see Angie Pange. I fucking love Angie Pange. She's just... She's just fantastic. Alright, let's go give her some love. She's playing Escape from Monkey Island. There's a new Monkey Island game coming out soon. Um, I think it's called, like, Return to Monkey Island? I don't know. It's new, it's coming out soon. There She's all the way. cat with a hungry belly. The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly. His throat was dry and his bowl was bare. Meow, me furry cat's meow. Ice Bear needs it for soon everyday hustling. May the cayman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. Butter Kitty, thank you, I love you. Come, we'll eat your bellies off full.